Well, the proverbial uh, brown stuff certainly hit the uh, fan, uh, hasn't it, uh, over the Declan Rice interview uh, on Thursday. Look, it was an England press conference at the World Cup and everything was going fine until the last question that was asked by a reporter. And let's listen to the question carefully and see what the reporter asked Declan Rice. Hi, Deck. Mark Man Bryan's from PA. You mentioned your teammates have played biggest games, they've won the biggest trophies. You're now playing in the World Cup for the first time. Do all of those things give you a hunger to be, you know, challenging for Premier Leagues, for playing in Champions Leagues, things like that? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Do all these things give you a hunger? You're playing in the World Cup, you know, all that's missing now is a Premier League trophy and a Champions League trophy and you're done, aren't you, mate? Firstly, why is a reporter allowed to ask a domestic-related question during an England press conference? You know, it shouldn't have been allowed. That's the first thing. I mean, I'll go on to what Declan Rice, how Declan Rice responded to it in a moment. But the first thing's first. The reporter should never have been allowed to ask a footballer that is representing his country anything about domestic football. This is meant to be an England press conference. Um, and, and Declan Rice is there representing in England. He wasn't representing West Ham. So the reporter should not have been allowed to ask Declan Rice anything that's got domestic related football attached to it. And it's clever, isn't it? The way he went about it. Oh, you're playing in the World Cup. All your mates are there playing in the World Cup with you and Champions League and Premiers. It, 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 it shouldn't have been allowed. Of the 20 uh, original 26 man squad, you know, there are only three players that, um, or four players, sorry, that don't represent these so-called big six teams. You know, uh, Jordan Pickford, Connor Cody of Everton, James Madison of Leicester, and Declan Rice of West Ham United. If it was Jordan, if it was um, uh, James Madison being interviewed, do you think the reporter would have asked him a similar question? Hi, James. Uh, great that you're playing alongside all these uh, other players who are also playing, uh, you know, uh, to, to get into Champions League and winning Premier League football, etc. Uh, don't you want to do that as well? There's no way that another player would have been asked the same question. So this was loaded. This was a loaded question on Declan Rice. And I think it was really unfair and unfortunate that Declan Rice should have been put in that position in the first place. You know, there are other players, I guess you could have named three other players from Newcastle that you would include in not representing the sort of the, the so-called big six. But I guess now that Newcastle have got mega rich owners, uh, it won't be before time that everyone will say they're regular top six anyway. So for me, I think it was wrong. I think it was wrong. I think it was loaded. It should. It was. It wasn't fair on Declan Rice, uh, and he shouldn't have been asked this question during an England press conference. It's an insult, really, to West Ham United as well, because whatever happens to Declan Rice in the future, you know, West Ham has gotten Declan Rice to the position that he's in. So it's almost as if, like, you know, we've still got the press that seem to be unhappy with, with uh, players from teams like West Ham United representing England. It's almost as if you should only be representing England if you're playing for Man United or Man City or Chelsea and, and, and teams like that. It seems to them that it seems wrong somehow that a West Ham player should be representing England, uh, especially at a World Cup. You know, so it was too, it was such a loaded question. Look, West Ham put Declan Rice where he is now. You know, if it wasn't for uh, West Ham picking Declan Rice up from Chelsea after they discarded him, who knows what would have happened to his career? Chelsea certainly didn't see the potential in the player to even represent the club, let alone representing his country. And if West Ham didn't offer him the platform, you know, would, would he have made it an, another club, you know, to the level and to the speed that he has done? Let's not forget, it's not too long that Declan only made the first team at West Ham United and he's grown in stature, you know, and he is one of our best players in the country without a shadow of a doubt. But West Ham United gave him that opportunity. So for that reporter to seem to imply that playing at West Ham just wasn't good enough for Declan Rice or for representing England was a real insult, to be quite honest with you. Right, let's go in and, and see how Declan Rice responded. Hi, Deck. Mark Man Bryan's from PA. You mentioned your teammates have played biggest games, they've won the biggest trophies. You're now playing in the World Cup for the first time. Do all of those things give you a hunger to be, you know, challenging for Premier Leagues, for playing in Champions Leagues, things like that? Yeah, 100%. I think for the last two, three years, you know, I've been saying that. Um, 
you know, I've been playing consistently well for the club, um, and I feel like I really want to, you know, keep pushing. Like you said, I see my friends here who are playing Champions League, winning the big trophies. You know, you only get one career, um, and at the end of your career, you want to look back and by what you've won and the, the biggest games you've played in. And you know, I'm really ambitious, and you know, I really want to do that. So let's get this in perspective as well, because I know social media has lost it, you know, seeming, seemingly suggesting that Declan Rice is clearly aiming to leave West Ham United and uh, he's asked for, a, you know, like, you know, somewhere in there, in that in that comment, apparently people have interpreted it that, he, he, he you know, he's leaving the club. Look, Declan Rice's response shouldn't have come as any surprise. As a young footballer, you know, He's been saying for the last two or three years, I've been saying that, I want to play at the highest level, etc., etc. The reporters seem to forget that Declan Rice is already playing in the Premier League, by the way. You know, when you ask him, playing in the Premier League and playing in the Champions League, be, be specific, mate. What you're trying to say is, you know, do you want to play for a top six team or a top four team and get in the Champions League? Is what he meant, but he was subtle about it, the reporter. But Declan Rice's response shouldn't have come as any surprise. As a young footballer, he would naturally want to play at the highest level. Uh, yet in the last two or three years, he hasn't told West Ham he wants to leave. He's uh, Yes, we know he hasn't signed an extended contract that was offered to him. And that contract is still available for him. You know, but, but we know, you know, Declan Rice has, amb has got big ambitions. And absolutely, and rightly so. Um, he said, you only get one career and you look back at what you've won. OK, fine. He hasn't won anything at West Ham. And, uh, and we know we're highly unlikely to break into the top four. I'm not disillusioned into thinking that that will happen. And we also know that if we ever get into the top four by any chance, you know, if we were playing in the Champions League, you know, winning the Champions League, West Ham United, it'd be quite a tall order. I mean, we, you know, we did well last season getting into the semi-final of the Europa League, you know, and we faltered at the, at the, at the, final, at the final hurdle. But getting into a, a semi-final of the Champions League, that would be, well, massive. And I know it won't happen. And I know it's unlikely to happen whilst Declan Rice is still there. And look, but even if we hold on to Declan until the summer of 2025, and I'll explain that in a minute, when Declan leaves West Ham United, if we held him to his contract till the end, it's still only be 25 years of age. So he, him turning around and saying, you know, you, you only got one career, short career and all that sort of stuff. At 25 years of age, he can still see his ambitions uh, playing for a so-called big team and playing in the Champions League, etc. So it's not as if he's old. It's not as if Declan Rice is 30 years of age and he ain't got much time left. He's 23 years of age, you know, and if we do hold him to his contract till the end and he'll still be 25, he'll walk away from West Ham and he'll still be able to live his uh, dreams out. Look, I don't think Declan Rice's uh, uh, response to that question was a deliberate attempt to put him in the shop window. He's already in the shop window. He has been for the last couple of seasons. Um, yet, as the club keeps saying, we haven't had an offer for Declan Rice. No one has come in and made a bid to buy the player. So that takes us to next summer. And what will happen to Declan Rice and his contract, etc., um, uh, when it comes to uh, the summer of 2023? As it stands, with the summer of 2023 looming, he'll only have one season left on his contract. But the club have an option to extend that contract until 2025. So that's why I mentioned, you know, he could still be with us until the summer of 2025. There are three clear options as to what may or may not happen next summer. The first, of course, is Declan Rice could put a transfer request in. And in all honesty, I can't see that happening. Ask all the Republic of Ireland fans and they'll tell you, never say never. He walked away from Republic of Ireland to represent England. So what's to stop him from putting in a transfer request and walking away from West Ham? But I can't see that happening. The second option is that West Ham will trigger the automatic one year extension to keep him at the club until 2025. But even if they did trigger that, they could ask him to stay one more season and then sell him in the summer of 2024. And then the third option, of course, is that they will sell him in the summer of 2023 and use the money to replace him and further improve the squad that we have. I can't tell you which of these options are going to be more likely, uh, but I know many of you have already decided that the player will indeed be sold or the player indeed will leave. Well, he can only leave if he asks to leave or he can only leave if we get a big enough um, uh, bid in order for the club to turn around and say we can't turn that down. 
I don't, you know, I think, you know, I, I kind of understand why fans are upset, but I don't blame Declan Rice. You know, he's an honest lad. He was asked a direct question and he answered the question honestly. You know, and many people would say, well, he could have avoided it. He could have turned around and said, well, this is nothing to do with West Ham. This is all about England and I'll, and I'll face that challenge uh, about what happens uh, in the future. But uh, I think he answered it honestly and I don't really think he did it deliberately to put himself in the shop window. But you make of it what you will. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. I'll come back with another short video soon. And uh, well, I'll see you soon and enjoy the rest of the World Cup and uh, good luck England for Sunday against Senegal. Not going to be an easy game. By the way, uh, news come out uh, earlier today is that we've got a third friendly um, on the 10th of December. Udinese, if anyone wants a little Italian tour, that's coming up, uh, which is interesting. Thank you for watching. See you soon.